You see that, right? You see that, guys? All right. Okay, someone's coming. Luckily, they don't really see us yet. We can't kill that guy. Let's see if we can hack that. Oh. There we go. There we go. I think we got him. I think we got him. We pretty much have everyone knocked out except for that guy. And that's the guy we have to knock down. I think that's the last guy. I think that's the last guy. There's one more. There's one more. He can call re- Alright, we gotta be careful with that dude. If, if he sees us, it's a, it's a wrap. We have to be really careful here with this guy. Fuck it! Hey, there he is! Fuck! Fuck! Dude, he saw- Alright, alright, this is bad. Don't waste fucking time! Get on him! Alright, fuck it. We got a gunfight on our hands, man. Fuck it. No, no, no! He's not calling reinforcements on me. You guys saw that, right? Basically, I stopped him from calling the reinforcements in. So now, let's get some cover. Oh, no, no, no! This is our man, this is our man, this is our man! Come here! There we go. We got him. We did it. We managed to get through that whole freaking gang hideout without getting the police involved, without reinforcements being called in, without starting a full-out gang fight. That was the best stealth mission that I've ever done. I am so hype right now. <laughs> I did so well. Oh my god. All right. So now, as you guys can see, it said on the right of the screen, crime detected. Now that we clear this place out, there's no running from police. There's no huge gang shootout. You know, we're not in danger anymore. We're pretty much good. We, that came out really well. Let me just pick up some of the items that these guys dropped. And we got more skill points to use in our um, skill tree. So now, as you guys can see here, we, can, we have access to a skill tree. And the more points that you get, you get points by basically doing things like the gang hideouts, helping citizens, you know, stopping criminals. There's a lot of things you can do to get skill points. And when you get them, you can improve your overall skills. I mean, it makes sense, right? Anyway, so right now, bridges. Hold square to open or close the city bridges. We don't have that yet. The ones in blue, the ones that are colored we have, but the ones in white and black we don't have yet. The black ones we can't get until we do something in the game. And the white ones, we just have to buy them. Increases the amount of money gained when hacking a bank accounts at the ATM. Um, let me see. Combat. Focus. Yeah, now, there's another mechanic in the game that's pretty interesting. You know how in GTA V, they're, they're, the characters had the, this ability to slow down time when they were driving or when they were shooting? He has the same ability, but not with explanations like they were in GTA V. But basically, he can do that as well. It's called focus. And I want to increase that as much as possible. Start open your world to unlock the second tier of upgrades. Yeah, I can't really do any of these right now. I really want to, but I can't because I, I want to make the focus thing really come out. But obviously, I can't do that until I um, make some more progression in the story. So that's fine. I'll just use the quick switch. Faster weapon switching is totally cool. Increases shotgun damage against vehicles. That looks cool. Increases rate of fire with semi-automatic pistols. That looks good, too. Increases burst precision with all automatic weapons. And increased scope steadiness for sniper rifles. Damn, you got a lot of weapons in this game. Sniper rifles, shotgun. Well, the standard shit, I guess. Alright, we pretty much can't get anything else here, though. So let's see what else we can buy. There's a fly in here. Let's see what else we can buy, though. Um, driving. Reduces damage taken from collisions. Yes, I need that so badly. <laughs> and now hacking. Let's just buy this extra stuff. Increases the amount of money. Of course we need that. But now we ran out of points, but we can't get this one. But this one doesn't even look all that important. Hold square to open or close the city bridges. Like, how many bridges will be in the city? Like, one? You know, so it's fine. Notoriety skills. So the more notorious we become, then the, I guess the more skill points we get towards this shit. All right, well, this is pretty cool, but all right. So we're pretty much done for now. All that stuff looks pretty damn advanced, right? But um, we're not going to worry about it too much for the moment. Anyway, so now, as you guys saw, we got out of here. Even Steven, you know, everything was good. So, you may see that there's a waypoint now. This waypoint is leading us to somebody who the CTOS system has... Um, the CTOS system has categorized somebody as a potential criminal. 
Now, this is kind of creepy because the system knows things about people to the point where it knows if you're about to commit a crime or not. And someone's about to commit a crime, so that's what we're being led to right now. What the fuck? Several members of the Chicago South Club were arrested following the police raid of a popular sports bar in Brandon Docks. No names have been released, but the raid is already being criticized by watchdog groups for ignoring the organization's reputed leader, entrepreneur Dermot Lucky Quinn. What the fuck? More story related stuff. Occasionally on the radio, I don't listen to the music. I'm, I'm not going to listen to the music in the videos because I don't want copyright coming through. Because it's got like some mainstream songs like Kid Cudi and all that, so I don't want that to happen. But. The story, man, I'm more interested in the story than anything else, and I like this game so much. I love the stealth mechanic, I love the hacking mechanic, it's not overdone to me. But hey, I, I guess that's because I'm a nerd, you know? Naturally, nerds love this kind of shit, right? But, yeah, we're about to find us a potential criminal who the CTOS system. And if you're wondering what CTOS is, CTOS is the entire infrastructure of all this hacking stuff and everything, you know? So, what we're about to do is find us a potential criminal. Let's go. Open the profile. Okay. Oh, that guy's about to commit a crime. Let's just hide a little bit. That's exactly what this city needs more of. Tail the potential criminal. All right. So as you guys can see, crime probability is at 22% right now and rising. So something's about to pop off with this guy. Right now, he's thinking something crazy. It's not a playground, pal. Potential victim. Oh, shit. Here we go. So we found him. Let's get that camera going. That's our guys. Had to do it the hard way. No, oh shit, here we go. Just shut the hell up. Here we go. Get, come here. Uh, uh, did that make any sense? Well, whatever. We got it. So, crime neutralized. Hooray. We stopped the guy. Our reputation increased. What else do we get? Our, okay, as you guys can see, our reputation is going towards the positive side. The victim was unharmed and the criminal was neutralized. Now, if things were on the ugliest side, I, he would have killed his victim, and then after he killed him, I would have ran after him, had to probably shoot him in the head to kill him. So there's a lot of ways you can go about this shit, and they all affect your reputation. Wait, someone, all right, now, anything that you see in this game that's purple, if you see a purple icon, purple anything, in a race challenge, reach every checkpoint before time expires, collect a cash bonus to earn money, your GPS is on. You're on, give me your worst. Oh boy. Okay, we, we, this is some next shit. This is some next shit. We're online right now, though. But yeah, if you guys see anything purple in this game from now on, that means that you're online. You're playing against somebody. What the fuck's going on here? How could he do that? That wasn't me. I didn't do that. We've got a high-powered patrol car in pursuit of suspect. Oh my god. All right. I'm fucking up so bad. No, no, quick, quick, quick. I don't, I don't know this. I hate driving missions. I hate them with a passion. Oh my god. But all right. Yeah, so as I was saying, when you see a purple icon on the right of the screen, that means that somebody's either trying to hack into your system or somebody online's trying to play a game with you or something like that. And the game randomly finds people. So if you're online, as I'm connected to the internet all the time on my PS4, the game will very, okay, very, very, actually it happens fairly often. Very often, the game will come up and say, yo, there's another person playing Watch Dogs that's trying to hack your shit. You need to go stop them, because if you don't, you ought to get robbed. And you know, that's the last thing you want in Watch Hogs. So, yeah. But anyways, this has been Watch Dogs, man. I don't know what you guys would think of this, but this is just me playing it, just messing around a little bit. If you guys want to see more of this, you got to let me know in the comments. But um, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.